I never meant to come to Las Vegas, but here we are. We had absolutely no plans on staying in Las Vegas and not interested in gambling or any of the glitz or the glam or any of that stuff. We continued on to Barstow, California. Now, Barstow is not some place I wanted to visit either, so why are we taking this trip? And to explain that, we need to go back three months when this trip sort of kind of started back in October. We had set out with a 10-day plan, three days to drive out to Oregon, four days to spend time with my sister and my mother in the Portland area, and three days to drive back. But halfway out on the second day, we got a call from my sister, mom came down with COVID, and this was not going to be a good time to come. Luckily she had a fairly mild case, got over it, fully recovered. But at that point, it was time to turn around and plan to take the trip at another time. So we turned around, drove a day and a half home, detoured a little bit through Craig, Colorado, stayed at a little cabin there that night, and came down through Steamboat and Breckenridge and kind of the back way home. It's a little bit longer route. And it's always nice to avoid the interstate through Colorado's Front Range. Denver is a nightmare sometimes. At that point, we decided to wait till after the holidays, wait for everybody to be off the roads, the big travel to season to be over with. And it really looked pretty good this week. This is the second week of January. There was gonna be a little bit of snow Thursday night. We got out of the house Friday morning with snow on the ground. And the weather forecast looked like we were gonna have a nice window to get out here without running into any more snow. Of course, there was a big wreck on the highway that slowed us down took about an hour and a half to go a couple of miles to the next exit so we could go around the wreck. Once we were around that, it was just heavy traffic through Denver all the way up into Wyoming. I-80 across Wyoming into Evanston wasn't half bad, but then we checked the weather report a little bit more thoroughly for some of the smaller locations. We had checked the major stops along our route, but had failed to check some of the higher altitude locations particularly going through the Blue Mountains of Oregon. And that suddenly looked like that was gonna be a bad idea. The snow in Oregon can be really nasty and slippery. It's a lot wetter than the snow we get in Colorado. And there's, and there's gonna be quite a bit. And coming down Immigrant Hill out of the Blue Mountains down to the Columbia River is a treacherous drive. It can be a little bit hairy even in the summer if you don't watch your speed. But coming down in the winter with snow on the road, that seemed like a bad idea. So with a lot of planning, a lot of checking what's gonna happen on this route, what if we go this route, we ended up going into Salt Lake City, going south on Interstate 15, cutting across Arizona, and that's how we wound up going through Las Vegas and ending up in Barstow for the night. We're getting closer to California and their economy is largely based on agriculture so they don't like you bringing produce in. In fact they got checkpoints where you got to stop and throw out produce that you're bringing in from out of state. And just like my mom made us do when we were kids, we're going to stop and eat the produce before we get to the California border. We'll probably do this a couple of times because we brought a whole bag of oranges with us because we didn't think we were going to California. So it was over to Bakersfield, then we went up to Central Valley. You can go all the way on 
Highway 99 or Interstate 5 all the way up into the Portland area, but there's some more mountain passes you have to go over that way, and there was a good likelihood of snow. So at Williams, California, we cut over, caught Highway 101, and this is the first time either of us have driven that section of Highway 101. We've driven it in Northern Oregon and in Southern California, but never the Northern California section. Had we known there was a room called the blacksmith shop, we would ask to stay there. Well, it's not exactly beach season, but we did get to stop at a California beach. So that ended up being a pretty interesting part of the trip. It was cold, rainy, a little bit windy, but it was really more dramatic that way and a lot less traffic than there would be during the summer. Now another part of this trip actually goes back much further. When my mom moved out of her house, we ended up with some parts for quilts that we were probably not going to do anything with. And we ended up giving some of those to a friend in the woodworking community, Sarah Thigpen. She's with Texas Heritage Woodworks. And she was really glad to have all these parts for these old quilts that my mom had collected over the years. But there was one that she felt should come back to us. And she completed this quilt, gave it back to us at Handworks back in September, and we've been waiting for a chance to get to see my mom to give this quilt back to her. It's one that her great-grandmother had pieced the top together, but never finished the quilt. So this is really a family heirloom that was completed by Sarah just last year. So she finished this, but there was a note with this about your great-grandmother having made this for you, I think. And she embroidered the note onto the quilt. It says, top made by Cynthia um, Nelson. Nelson. Nelson yeah. Cynthia Nelson Witt, my great grandmother, for me, about 1935, finished with love by Sarah Thigpen, 2023. Oh. Oh.